Hey everybody, Eric Wagner here with yet another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about the ever important topic of backing up your data from ArcGIS Online. Now, this is meant to be geared a little bit more towards those smaller organizations that are working with just ArcGIS Online, but anyone who's using ArcGIS Online is more than welcome to watch this video. And of course, backing up our data is just so critical. You know, you want to make sure that if something were to happen, you do have that, you know, backup someplace else that you can call upon so your GIS doesn't miss a beat. So let's go ahead and jump into ArcGIS Online and see how we can back up our data. So here we go. In ArcGIS Online, here's my content. And oh my goodness, look at that. We're looking at a hydrant inspection workflow. Want to know how to set up a hydrant inspection workflow? Check out some of the links below. Um, but most notably here, uh, I want to talk about you know our actual data. Now, we have hosted views. That's not actually the data. That's just accessing data that lives someplace else. But here's my hosted feature layer. And you probably have many of these in your ArcGIS Online organization. And this is what actually stores your point, line, and polygon data. And we want to make sure that it's actually getting backed up, that you have it stored someplace else for your own uh, purposes and maybe even just peace of mind. So if I click on this, certainly I could go in here and I could click on Export Data and choose Export to File Geodatabase. Now this creates extra content in your ArcGIS Online organization, and it is so much fun that you would have to do it for every single item. This is great if maybe you only have a, a couple items that you're really concerned about, but in the event you want to back up everything in one fell swoop, well, that's what we can actually use some Python for. And I know, I said a dangerous word, Python, but I promise you, you're not actually doing any coding, you're just going to be doing copy and paste. And if you're just like me, copy and pasting is perfectly fine. Uh, so here's actually a technical article that article that goes over this. And this is what we're going to be following along for this video, just to show how simple this is to work with. So uh, I am not very good at coding, but I know how to copy and paste, and that's what we'll do. So I'll start here in ArcGIS Pro. And within the Insert tab, I'm going to click New Notebook. And this is going to create a Jupyter Notebook within my ArcGIS Pro project. You can open up a new project, use an existing Pro project, totally up to you. But we'll give it a second to load. And there we go. Uh, within this, what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to copy and paste the lines of code from that technical article in here and be taken away to backed up data in no time at all. So I'm going to come back in here and I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to grab this first block of text. Again, I'm not even reading the stuff in the procedure, although I always recommend reading stuff. You know, the instruction manuals are sometimes helpful, but I'm just copying and pasting everything from this first gray box and I'm going to paste it in here and then I'm going to click run. So this line of code is going to run for me. And when it has this little star, that means it's running. When a number appears, that means it is done running. So we'll give it a second. And it's done. It's asking me a question. What is my ArcGIS Online username? So I have to be the actual owner of that data, which I am. So I'll punch in my username. And now it's going to ask me for my password. All right, there we go. And I'll press Enter. All right, look at that. First line of code is done. Let's, uh, let's go ahead, let's, let's jump into the second one. So again, right click, copy, paste, go into Pro, paste that, and I'm gonna press Run. Now it's asking me, where do I wanna back up my data to? Well, coincidentally, I've already made a folder on my desktop called ArcGIS Online Backup. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna copy that file path. And you know, this file path could be anywhere. Maybe you put it on a server that is getting backed up. So you can download your data directly from ArcGIS Online into a server that is getting backed up. Uh, within your own organization, not a bad idea, but can work locally as well like I'm doing on my C drive. I'm going to press enter. Now, it's going to ask me, how many items do I want to back up? And here's the thing, it is only backing up those, got to step back to it, those hosted feature layers. So it's not going to back up the map, the dashboard, the view, the service definition, just the feature, just the hosted feature layer. And what I'm effectively doing with this line of text is asking how many items do I want to back up? Well, this is actually reading through all the different items that I have in my ArcGIS Online organization. So unfortunately, you're not able to say I want to back up this item, this item, and this item, like cherry picking them. But what you're basically doing is I want to back up like this kind of mass of items starting in alphabetical order, working its way through those different hosted feature layers. Um, so let's say you think like, listen, maybe I have like 20 or 30, I don't really know. Well, just type in a big number like 100. The computer will automatically get up to your 20 or 30 items and then stop. So I always recommend more rather than less. So I'm going to go ahead just for our example to make this go a little bit faster. I'm going to type in something small like 10 and press enter. And you can see what it's done is it's gone ahead and it's listed out all those different items. Now it, it, it's a bit of a, a block of text here. 
Um, but what you can see is like I've got some views and some other items in here or whatnot. But as long as I've made this number that I've punched in on the larger side, that's going to ensure that it grabs all of my hosted feature layers of interest. Now, we'll go ahead, we will move into the last block of text here. We're going to go ahead, we're going to say copy, and we're going to paste it. And this is what's actually going to run it. So I'm going to click run. And you can see it, it, it recognized that there's a view and it's not downloading it. It recognized that there's this uh, water service area view um, is not downloading it. But then it recognized that there's this layer called water services. That is a hosted feature layer. So it is going to go through the process of actually downloading it. So at this point now, we can just let this line of code run and it's going to automatically start going through, grabbing those hosted feature layers and downloading them into the folder of interest. So we'll go ahead and we'll give this a couple seconds to run or probably longer than that, a couple minutes, depending upon uh, how large your data sources are, uh, as well as, you know, have you attached a lot of photos or other types of media as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll step away from this for a couple seconds. And we're back. So here we can see it went through those 10 different items. Many of them were views and it just kind of skipped over them and ignored them. But we can see that it successfully downloaded my water services and then it success successfully downloaded my uh, water service area. So again, this kind of illustrates why maybe that number we put in up here before in that uh, second line of code should be a larger number. Just something to consider. And so now if I go ahead and I pull back up my ArcGIS Online backup folder, that file location we set earlier on, you can actually see here we go, I've got downloaded zip folders of water services and water service areas. So you can see that I was able to have this Python code automatically go through the content that I owned and downloaded it. And maybe that's one last point to kind of uh, drive home. It was the content that I owned. So because I logged in with my username and my password, it downloaded the data that I owned. Now, if you have maybe multiple creators, multiple people are going to need to run through this process. So again, this is really why I recommend something like this for those smaller organizations that maybe only have one person managing the GIS data. Are there other ways of backing up your data? I mean, I showed the two simplest ones. Are there other ways that you could probably Python and build this out? Absolutely. But if you're looking for a quick, simple solution to download your data and get it backed up somewhere in a way that's relatively easy and just copying and pasting, I recommend checking out the technical article. And again, the information to that can be found in the video description down below. As always, thanks for watching.